This video is brought to you by Zarkin Productions, an umbrella group composed of over 10 YouTube shows, an archive of over 4,000 videos covering a wide variety of topics, and businesses both inside and outside of Second Life. Please go to zarkin.com for a complete listing of media links, follow us on Facebook and Twitter for our activity feed, subscribe to us on YouTube for future updates and please support us on Patreon. Thank you for your time, and may I present another, Zarakan production. Hello and welcome to ZOC. I'm your host Andrew Carver. This is mostly unscripted and unedited. Today I'd like to talk to you about the Accurite 13024 Atomic Dual Alarm Clock with USB Charging. After many years of loyal service, my alarm clock eventually gave out. And I have to replace it because like most adults, I do have some place to be and I do have some place to be on time. So it's important that I wake up at a certain time when I have to be somewhere on time. So, uh, after looking through many, many, many clocks on Amazon, I decided to get this one uh, because of its feature set and its price and also uh, because of the warranty. Uh, as you can see, right now it's on a slight uh, sale, 11% off. So instead of $39.99, it's $35.69, uh, which makes it all the more easier to get the two-year protection plan for it for three dollars and nineteen cents. So a very good deal, especially when you consider the kinds of features it has. Uh, here's the clock. A nice easy to read display that not only displays the time and the day and the month and the indoor temperature, but also displays uh, what alarms uh, you have set to go off and what times are set to go off. So that is pretty awesome. Also, as you can see, you can set, set it to uh, every day, weekdays, or weekends. So you could have a different alarm for weekends and a different alarm for weekdays. So that's a pretty useful feature in and of itself. So this is the front part. As you can see, there's a switch uh, on the left-hand side and a switch on the right-hand side. Those are, of course, to turn off and on uh, the alarms. It makes it real easy to you know, make it sure they don't go off when you don't want them to. Here's another view of that. It's another frontal shot. It has a USB port in back, so you can charge your USB powered devices with this, whether it be a cell phone or anything else that can receive power from a USB port. And uh, here's a picture of it when it's on your nightstand. Uh, the atomic clock features split-second accuracy and automatically adjusts for daylight savings time. Always an excellent feature to have, uh, so that way you don't have to worry about all the clocks in your house being incorrect because the last one you used to set up the clocks uh, was also incorrect. So this will be a clock that always keeps accurate time. Uh, very, very cool feature to have. Uh, monitor indoor temperature right from your nightstand. Not necessarily a necessary feature for me, because I have uh, I have air conditioning units in every room that can do that. But pretty nice to have that. Uh, set two separate alarms for daily, weekday, or weekend use. Very awesome. Uh, I could definitely see myself using that. Uh, USB power port charges your cell phone while you sleep. AC adapter powered with battery backup in case of power loss. So that's a whole bunch of really useful features right in one sentence. The USB power port, of course, again, charges up your USB devices. Uh, the AC adapter means that you can plug this thing into a wall so you don't have to keep it on batteries all the time. And, of course, uh, the battery backup means that once you set this thing up for its alarms and its various other settings, uh, that uh, if the power goes out, the clock keeps on operating. Uh, so when the power comes back on, you don't have to worry about having to reset it back to, well, where it was before. And, uh, of course, kindly refer, 
the user manual given below for troubleshooting steps. So it comes with the user manual and that's always a good thing with any electronics. As you can see there's various other clocks you can choose from at Amazon but I, I wanted this one most definitely. Here we get back into some of the details again. Uh, again view the time and indoor environmental information from your nightstand. Uh, atomic clock with USB charger and dual alarm. The Accurite Atomic Dual Alarm Clock features an illuminated color display with indoor temperature, atomic clock, date, day of week, and two alarms. Offers the convenience of USB charging for compatible smartphones. The dual programmable alarms can be set for everyday use, weekdays, or weekends only. Atomic Clock is radio controlled to synchronize to the correct time broadcast by the National Institute of Standards and Technology, NIST, radio station, WWVB for split-second precision accuracy. The clock automatically adjusts itself for daylight saving time. DST, one-year limited warranty. It's more than accurate. It's accurate. And of course, you know, in addition to the one-year warranty, I did get the two-year protection plan because if you're going to spend this much on a clock, you might as well. And again, the features, uh, atomic clock. Technology features incredibly accurate timekeeping, automatically adjusts for daylight savings time, DST, illuminated color display with dimmer, uh, dual programmable alarms set for everyday use, weekends or weekdays, uh, USB charging for compatible smartphones or USB devices in general, really, uh, indoor temperature, Fahrenheit or Celsius, snooze button, and uh, AC adapter powered with battery backup in case of power failure. As far as atomic clock technology, accurate right atomic clocks use a radio-controlled signal to synchronize to the correct time broadcast by the National Institute of Standards and Technology, NIST. Radio station WWVB, located near Fort Collins, Colorado. WWVB broadcasts the current time and date with split-second accuracy. Atomic clocks set themselves and automatically adjust for daylight savings time, DSD, to provide the most accurate timekeeping standard possible. And then here's some, you know, call-outs with individual graphics. Again, atomic clock and date, indoor temperature, loud alarm with snooze, and USB charging. So this is a very, very cool clock to have. But enough about the Amazon posting. Let's have a look at the real thing. Okay, so here's the box that comes in. Again, this is the Accurite Atomic Dual Alarm Clock with USB charging. Atomic clock, indoor temperature, USB charging, two easy set alarms, illuminated color display, month and date, and battery backup. So let's get out some additional supplies. So we can full way test things out. Get those batteries in a moment. Atomic clock, radio controlled for split second accuracy, USB charges, compatible smartphones. Again, here's the display on the back. Includes AC power adapter, USB cords, you have to provide your own. But you know, if you have something that runs off of USB, chances are you already have that. Uh, batteries, three double A, so let's get those out. Because I definitely want this thing to be on battery backup. And I'll be using rechargeables. So, there these are. I'll put them off here. There we go. And for the USB charging bit, I'm going to be testing out a Magic Jack uh, backup battery that I got with my last uh, Magic Jack order. It's pretty cool. This is the cable it came with, so this will be a good test. Put those over there for now. And of course, the same thing on this end too. Nothing on the bottom. This on the top. 
Let's get this thing opened. over here. Oh. Set this right there. Alright, so we have the clock now. Here's the AC adapter. And the clock out itself. And of course the Always important instructions manual. So there we go with that. Okay, we'll be consulting that in a moment. But first, let's take the film off. All right. So this is what it looks like before we light this thing up. Uh, there's three buttons on the front. This one's for setting the first alarm, the second alarm, up, down, whatever that is. Uh, the switch is. Nice good switch to it right there. Seems to have a middle setting, possibly. I'm not sure. I'll have to find that out later. Uh, here's some more switches on the back, uh, so you can dim or brighten the contrast. I'll probably have mine on high contrast. Uh, here is the sound. I usually like to have my alarm clock blasting away. Uh, this is the USB port, uh, the adapter port, and this is where we put the batteries in. So let's do that. Oh, there's a little warning thing in here. What's this say? Use AC adapter as main power source. Batteries are for backup power to routine records in case of power outage. Batteries are not required for display operation. So, good to know. Because after I get done setting this up, oh, snooze button right there. After I get done setting this up, I'll be, of course, taking it and uh, installing it in my bedroom and uh, throwing away the old busted up clock. So put this one in there. Try to put that one there. Okay, there we go. Am I doing it right? Probably not. Yep, I'm fucking it up already. Okay. <laughs> Pay attention to how the batteries are inserted. Always a good thing. Okay, there we go. There goes the first battery. These are Tenergies, by the way. Uh, you can get them on Amazon for very cheap. I highly recommend them. I bought these like close to a year ago, and they're still going. Oh, something beeped. Someone beeped it beep. All right. Now, the battery backup is just made meant to keep the settings fresh so you don't lose the settings not actually to power it so it's normal for it to not actually be on my other clock does much the same thing although it takes a 9 volt which is not as convenient so this will be an improvement because you can pretty much get rechargeable double A's anywhere uh, whereas with a 9 volt battery not quite as convenient Looks like it has a nice long cord to it. Get this thing untangled. I'll probably be using my Velcro tie things to take out take up the slack when I get this thing put in the bedroom. But for now, just want to untangle this to see how long the cord is. Attempt to untangle it. 
Alright, so AC adapter, the thing that plugs in the back. And I think the cord is about, yeah, easily six foot long. Uh, so you have pretty long range on the cord. Let's get this plugged in. Okay, so we have an indoor temperature of 68 degrees Fahrenheit. Well, we don't have any stuff on at the moment. Let's see. Okay. So yeah, this is the brightness on this side. So I can take the brightness down in the graduated push thing. That's the dimmest. That's the brightest. Of course, I won't be able to test out the uh, alarm until I actually have one set. I'll probably leave it leave it at its brightest. Still trying to acquire signal strength. We live in a house that's covered in metal, so not too surprised it's not getting any reception just yet. When I have it in the bedroom, it will, of course, uh, be closer to the wall. Alright, so I already did the plug in the stuff. Oh. Okay, I missed a step. Derp. This is what happens when you don't read the directions. Alright, so supposedly there is a little switch. I was wondering where those switches were. Underneath the battery compartment. So, yep, there it is. Okay, so some other important buttons. Uh, this switches between uh, this one switches between Celsius and Fahrenheit, so you can see it's set to Fahrenheit right now. If I push that, it switches to Celsius. Obviously, that's not very useful to me because I don't really use Celsius. So switch that back to Fahrenheit. Uh, here's the switch. Uh, it's switch to automatically acquire at the moment and it's still trying to acquire but that's okay like I mentioned I live in a tin can pretty much so our house is really good at deflecting signals uh, but that's okay because I have another clock here that I can set it with so all right so set the time and date. Ah, stop folding up. There we go. Okay, so set the time and date. Uh, press and hold the gear button, that thing. Look at it on the front of the clock to enter the set mode. Once in set mode, the preference you are currently setting will blink on the clock. To adjust the currently selected flashing item, press and release the up and down buttons, press and hold to fast adjust. Press and release the gear button to adjust the next preference. Okay, so this is this is standard watch setup type deal. So, not too bad. Alright, so... Eastern Standard Time. We are Central. Okay, so click that. Um, Auto DSD, yeah. Oop, hang on. 
I wasn't quite done there. Okay, that's good. On, yes. Uh, it is not 11. It is... Okay, so that... Uh, it is 23 right now. Later on, when this thing actually gets reception, when reception penetrates our metal can house, um, it'll probably reset itself to whatever it is actually going on. It is not Monday. Uh, nope. Hang on. Wasn't done yet. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's good. Uh, that's actually changed, so change that. It is December. Uh, let me go back. Oh, oh, oh. It's not changed too quickly. Okay, it is the 15th. Alright, so... Well, it's the 15th, but it's not... Okay, so actually I need to change the year to... So, debt, 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 debt. Okay, let's, let's up the, this to the correct date. Debt. Alright, so, it is... Uh, December 15th of 2016 and it is Thursday and our indoor temperature is 69 degrees Fahrenheit and I still want that thing on so let's see yeah clock placement Oh, okay. To prevent wireless interference, place unit at least three feet away from electronic devices like a TV, computer, microwave, radio, etc. Uh, there's a ton of electronic equipment here, so uh, even doubly no wonder that uh, I'm not getting any kind of reception on this thing. Let me see if I can reactivate the radio thing, because I do want that to tune in at some point. off, turn back on, there we go. So that gets it searching again, uh, but at least in the meantime it has the correct time and date. So that's pretty cool, that's pretty cool already. Alright, now, obviously, as I mentioned earlier, one of the important features about this is for it to maintain its settings. So let's do a quick stress test by unplugging uh, the AC adapter. Here we go. Well. Alright, so it switched off to preserve, you know, battery. And I'm going to plug it back in. And what do you know? It still has its settings. So that's great. Alright, and uh, I am going to set the alarm here in a second, but I want to do another easy test. Okay, so on the back of this thing, not exactly the best placement, but it still works. It's still an awesome thing to have. Uh, you do, of course, have the USB charger right there. So you can plug in your phone or whatever else takes USB. And uh, for this test, we're going to try and charge up a battery. So, okay... Alright, there we go. So, here's my Magic Jack battery. I'm going to plug it back, in, back into the back of the clock. Obviously, this only works if it uh, is plugged into the AC, but as you can see, it's charging up the battery now, so that's pretty cool. And when that reaches the tippy top, it will be fully charged. 
Totally recommend Magic Jack, by the way. Awesome company. Alright, so let's turn this back around. Okay, so um, we have some settings here. I mentioned that it had. Okay, so that's when you. And when you have it to the top, it has it turned on. Uh, middle doesn't do anything, so it's just up and down. So you can have one turned on, and another turned on, and there you go. Another cool thing about this is that you don't have to touch any buttons in order to know when your alarms are set. So that's pretty cool. So let's set some alarms. Okay. Now, where's the instructions about setting the alarms? Okay. Move some other stuff out of the way. I'm trying to flatten out these instructions and they'll keep rolling up on me. We already did the backlight and we already did the USB charging, so that's done. Alright, so. Okay, slide alarm one to the on position, so it's turned on now. Uh, press and hold the alarm one, or alarm two to enter the alarm set mode. So we're obviously we're going to try and test this out. Um. Okay, so we're going to have to do this. Okay, so one button action, pretty cool. All right, so, okay, let's do this. Okay, there we go. All right, and we want to go off a little bit from now. There we go. Alright, let's wait and see what the alarm sounds like. Waiting is the hardest part. Oh, there we go. So that's pretty cool. I'm guessing you push this to turn it off. Eep. Eep. Okay, that does snooze. Unsnooze? How does the snooze button work? Hang on. This button motor necessarily backlight? Doesn't really say. Um, but since we have a visual on the alarm, uh, we can demonstrate the alarm volume, uh, which I believe is on this side. Yeah, that's on this side. So there you go. Look, maximum alarm. Oh, <laughs> the volume's over here. Derp. Alright, so minimum, medium, a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more, and that's maximum, right where I want it. So I'll definitely be woke up. And, okay, when you touch the alarm again, it takes us off snooze. Uh, let's see how I'm actually supposed to turn this thing off. Actually, probably with the switch. See, that goes it off. Then I turn it back on. And... How you can actually do this is if... Like, for instance, myself. Um, on my work days, I have to wake up at 1 in... Well, I have to wake up at noon. I have to be at work at 1. Uh, so, on my work days, I can have one alarm set for work. 
uh, to wake me up at noon, and I can have the other one set to wake me up at around about 8 or 9 in the morning uh, for my days off, because on my days off I like to wake up early so I can get shit done. So, let's do that. Let's uh, set this thing so it uh, actually follows my pattern. Alright, so let's do this one. And Okay, so I need to wake up at Okay, there we go. And not at 1231. Right, almost there. Okay, there we go. Okay, every day. Now I have to use the everyday settings uh, because um, I have Friday and Saturday off, so the whole weekday, weekend thing doesn't work. Although you can use that if, th if that is the pattern that you follow. But anyway, so during my work week, I turn on my 12 p.m. alarm. And when that's not a work day, I turn that off. There we go. So that's off. There we have it. Let's set the other one. As I said on my... Um, be careful about tilting this thing back because I have that thing plugged in the back. But as I said, um, on my days off, I like to have um, most of my day available to get stuff done. So let's do that. Uh, I want to wake up at, let's say, 9 a.m. Because I usually wake up before the alarm goes off anyway. And of course, if you want to adjust it, they have. Whoop, hang on, let me get back in there. Okay, that, that. So they have um, every day, weekdays, weekends. So you do have that option, but like I said, I kind of work on odd days. So there we have it. So um, I have two alarms. I have the time set. I have two alarms set. And uh, I can turn these alarms on and off as I please. So during my work week, I'll be using that alarm. During my days off, I'll be using that alarm. Uh, obviously, I have one more day to work this week. So I'm going to turn this alarm off. Uh, and on Friday, when I'm off, I'll be turning this one off and this one back on. See? Ain't that cool? But I have one more work day, so... Turn that off. Turn that one on. Huzzah! Isn't that neat? Okay. So, um, that is a really good demonstration of how cool this alarm clock is. A lot of great features on it. Uh, let's see how it looks with uh, just in the dark. Hang on. Turn some lights off. Turn some monitors off too. Can't really do anything about the photo frame, but as you can see, it's very easy to see in the dark. So, pretty cool thing. Alright, turn all this stuff back on. So again, uh, this is the AccuRite Atomic Dual Alarm Clock. A very cool clock, very much worth the price, and you can get an extended warranty with it. It comes with some nifty features like dual alarms, they can switch on and off, temperature, time, date, and all that stuff, and you can even charge devices off of it too. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I totally recommend getting one. Uh, this is an awesome device. Um, get one today.